In this video, we're going to talk about the functions ln x, and we're going to talk about its derivatives and uh, integrals and things like that. So let's first start by graphing ln of x. So here's ln of x. You can see that the function, as you should know, is defined only from 0 to infinity and not including 0. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot a point right on ln x, and then going to graph its tangent line at that point. So it looks like this. Sort of play around with it. You can see that the slope changes as I drag that point around. Well, let's find out what that slope is. So at any given instant, here's the slope. So right around uh, its x-intercept, you see the slope is close to about 1. It actually is 1. And uh, so let's graph um, a point that represents the same x, the x value and then instead of the same y value, we'll, we'll substitute that with the slope. So that should look like this. Okay, and I'm going to turn the trace on. So it's, a chain, so it's recording at every point, every little interval. So you can see here that, so we'll take this one for instance. So this x value is 0.56. Same for a and b. But the y value of b is 1.8, which is the slope. So technically, this blue curve is the derivative of ln x. And you should know that that blue curve is 1 over x. But there's a problem. 1 over x has more than just this graph. 1 over x exists in negative infinity to infinity. And it looks like this. So this is 1 over x in blue. But in red is ln x. So technically speaking, the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x when x is greater than 0. So there's a little stipulation there. It's only true when x is greater than 0, which makes sense because it's impossible to have a function. It's impossible to have a derivative or a slope where there is no function. There's no function over here, therefore there can't be a slope. Okay, well what if we went the other way? So let's say we wanted to take the integral of 1 over x. So that's the entire blue piece, 1 over x. Now, you might say, okay, of course it's ln x, but the problem is there's nothing over here. There's got to be a be there's got to be an integral for this piece over here. So I'm going to do the same process that I did over here with these points and slopes, except I'm going to reverse it. So the blue one represents the slope of some function. Okay, so this point here is representing a slope Okay, so there's our function that's representing, so this is technically the antiderivative at that point. So this point right here corresponds to this slope, and let's drag this around. And you can see now it's graphing the antiderivative. You can see the tangent lines changing, and there's the antiderivative. So what does that look like? What does that function look like? Well, that looks exactly thicker, but exactly like ln x, except it's reversed over the y-axis. It's flipped over the y-axis. So the integral of ln, sorry, the integral of 1 over x dx is ln x when it's over here, and it's ln of negative x over here. Well, in order to represent that as one integral, as one expression, will be ln of absolute value of x plus c. So there's a justification for why you need those absolute values around ln x.